Tonight, a popular street performer attacked not far from Faneuil Hall. Police say a group of teenagers went after Kitar Bear for some reason last night. Unfortunately, this is not the first time he's been roughed up. WBC's Mike LaCrosse talked to a friend of that performer, and he joins us live now from downtown. Ken, the attack happened just outside of this building here at the corner of Congress and State Street. Police were able to track down those three suspects when they took off because there was a large crowd of people here that pointed cops in the right direction. That friend we spoke to tonight is relieved that police were able to make some arrests. I was so upset. I was so angry that it happened again. <laughs> A friend of beloved street performer Kitar Bear beside herself, he was targeted once again. That's just like unacceptable right now in the world that we live in. Kitar Bear was assaulted as he was playing around 4.40 Saturday afternoon at the corner of Congress and State Streets, not far from Faneuil Hall. Boston police say three juveniles ripped off his mask, punched him in the face and body while making racist comments. The teens took off when cops pulled up, but were later found hiding up on a building scaffolding. He's doing okay. He's not in the best frame of mind. He's feeling really suspicious. Abby Taylor got to know Kitar Bear after she organized a fundraiser for him following his first assault back in 2014. She says performing is how her friend makes a living. He's feeling dejected. He's feeling like people are letting him down again. And I really hope that were able to get the smile back on his face. The three juveniles are charged with assault and battery. The Boston Police Department Civil Rights Unit is also investigating. I'm told that Kitar Bear is out of the hospital and recovering in Worcester tonight. We're live in Boston. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.